A Midtown business owner is out of thousands of dollars after someone stole a truck full of clothing and shoes overnight. The owner of Identity Boutique says her truck was eventually found in a parking lot a few miles away with many items missing. CBS 13's Mugo Odigwe spoke with the owner and joins us now live in Midtown. Mugo? Right here, 26 and J Street is where that truck is usually parked. In fact, our news truck is now parked in that same spot. The owner of the shop tells me this theft is a huge blow to her business. Stephanie Bozola of Identity Boutique says she's trying to stay positive. She called and said that she was shopping at the Rite Aid on 23rd and F and saw it in the parking lot with the doors open and everything just exposed. She's talking about the truck that houses the men's clothing portion of her midtown business, Identity Boutique. Stephanie says she called her fiance this morning when she didn't find the truck parked at its usual spot. I did a lap around the neighborhood just to check it out to see if it was around the corner in our usual parking spots and it wasn't there and I called him and He's just started crying. Stephanie eventually got a call from a stranger late Tuesday morning. Her truck was left at a parking lot on F and 23rd Street. I just saw a glimpse of empty, and it wasn't completely empty, but it definitely about half of it. The truck was filled with women's clothing she can't store in her shop, more than 100 pairs of shoes and clothing for men. A line she says she started because there was demand for men's clothing. We did the impossible to make it happen, look for a second location. So when it came down to it, that little mobile was the best. It was quirky, it was fun, it was different. And um, for it to be stolen really, really hurt. She says altogether the items stolen are worth about twenty thousand dollars. I mean, he's not stealing from me, but he's also stealing from you know my my cousin, you know my girls that are come here and they're looking for their unique piece and the things that make them feel good. She says even though it hurts, she feels nothing but pity for whoever stole the merchandise. I hope he's warm. I you know a thief is a thief, but when you are homeless, you just have you, you resort to the, the, the craziest things. Police did get surveillance video from the Rite Aid where that truck was found. They tell us they are investigating, but as of right now, they have no suspect information. Google, thanks for the update live from Midtown Sacramento. Now, Yuba City Police.